if you guys are interested in watching me play live, my Twitch is in the description down below. Make sure to hit that follow button and I hope to see you there. Peace. It's turbo time. 1.24 update just dropped. Along with that came with some new weapons, including what we have right here in front of us called the AN94. I believe its first appearance in Call of Duty was back in Black Ops 2, and it made another appearance in Black Ops 3, and here it is again in Black Ops 4. Now, my first impressions when I was trying this out was that it's not that great. It really is not that good. I probably wouldn't even use it compared to all the other weapons in the game that we have as far as ARs go. Really quick, I just wanna give a shout out to Billy Apple on Twitter. I'll put his Twitter tag on the screen. He let me use his account because I sadly don't have this weapon right here. But anyways, uh, with the limited amount of time that I had after I played a few matches with it, I was just really curious, like why does this gun feel like it's so terrible? So I went into a private match and I did some testing myself and it turns out that it's five shots to kill to the body at any distance and then from super far range it's about six shots to kill to the body now if you shoot at the head it's going to be four shots to kill from close to medium range now if you put on high caliber that's where it changes just a little bit it's going to be four shots to kill from any distance as long as you're aiming at the head it's not really that practical to try to get headshots from medium to long range but i would recommend taking the gunfight closer to the enemy and just aiming for the head so you can get that four shot kill you know that's what makes this gun really bad you know you're gonna find yourself getting a lot of hit markers especially if you're trying to uh, engage with enemies from distance you're definitely gonna lose those gunfights especially when there's other weapons in the game that just absolutely melt like the swordfish for example so yeah let's just get into the attachments real quick I got grip then I got stock so we can strafe left and right in those gunfights and of course be more evasive this gun is pretty clunky so you know you want to add as much mobility as you can so adding on stock definitely helps out in that that department then we got high caliber then we got hybrid mags because the reload time is not that fast and of course if you're missing your shots and you're engaging with multiple enemies of course you would want to reload your weapon as fast as possible so having hybrid mags is definitely key now i would say that the only good positive thing about this weapon is that it actually comes with a good amount of ammo you know that's pretty much the only good thing about it then i got stim shot and this weapon being an attachment heavy type of weapon for it to do well so since we don't have scavenger we're going to be running crash perk 2 is going to be gung-ho so we can fire faster after sprinting and dead sound so i don't need to hear my footsteps and the enemy doesn't hear mine closing thoughts like i said I, I, it's a it's a really bad gun I, I would not recommend it to anybody to use uh, maybe you have a difference of opinion i want to know your opinions of this gun in the comments below so yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to drop a like on this video if you want to show your support if not it's cool i know who all my real ones are out there subscribe if you're not subscribed make sure to do so right now turn that subscribe button from red to gray and make sure to turn on notifications so you don't miss any future uploads from here on out and uh yeah i'll see you guys in the gameplay peace so supposedly it's supposed to be good so this is going to be very interesting to see nonetheless but you know from my experience with it so far i'm not really liking it i wouldn't say it's overpowered i wouldn't say it's unstoppable or anything like that it's it's all right and i can't believe that this is the very last uh update that we're gonna see Smoke going out. where is he there he is okay i'm getting out of here i'm dead oh my god that was the biggest mistake i probably made right there someone coming up over here whoa what's up with that i have a feeling he's coming back Goodness. There you go. There's got to be another one. There's got to be another one here. <laughs> I think I just seen somebody right here. Okay. Not bad from uh, up close, but that's almost like every other assault rifle out there. Just unlock the agitator camo, what up? And by the way, this is not my account. Uh, somebody on Twitter let me use his account. So I appreciate that. 
this guy again, man. He's always like flanking over here. I gotta watch out for that guy. All right, spawn this UAV. This will definitely help us out. Oh, he's coming in through the water this time. I'll take that. I'll take that, man. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. They is coming. Whoop, 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 whoop. Man, that guy really wanted me. What the? Oh! Dude, absolutely wrecked. By the KN-57, man. Okay, there you go. I had to jump on that guy. Dude, I cannot stop the guy with the KN. The KN is just unmatched, dude. Okay, not bad. Here we go. We got a couple people here. One. Two. Not my kill. Call this UAV. There's one right behind us here. I have no idea what I just did there. It's kind of a combination of a drop shot. There you go. I think this dude's in the water areas. Finally, we got a sniper's nest. Come on, man. I feel like I'm trying so hard right now just to get this stuff. There you go. What did I get? 2.83 KD. That's just the first match with it. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give it another shot. <laughs> trying to see if this... Okay, not bad. Felt like I melted there a little bit more. Let's check mid. They've got to be in mid. No one's here. There he is. All right. I really like this map. Uh, I think Arsenal has become... One of my favorites. Okay, not bad from distance. Always be conscious of... Mm. Ah, you got me. It's going to be a straight shot right there. Nice. Okay, there's one over here. He's trying to sneak his way in. Okay, I'll take it. Wasn't pretty, but I'll take it. All right. One right there. Okay, we got a headshot. Nice one, man. What's up, buddy? There you go. There's one right there. Hit marker galore. Okay. Oh, gosh, they're everywhere. Okay. It's my kill. I'm sorry, teammate. I stole it. This AFK guy here. There's one. Another one. Okay. My teammates know it too. Okay, we got a sniper's nest. All right, I'm gonna flank these dudes right here. There you go. Got our thresher ready job guys all right as soon as i call this in i'm pretty sure they might leave the game yep people started to leave Ooh, that was a nice little quad this gun definitely needs a buff if they're ever gonna do anything to it highly recommend a buff on it definitely needs one yeah that guy should have been melted and he's using the gks Man, time to kill takes forever. That takes forever. Where's your homies at? There he is. Oh man. One more in there. All right, what do we get? 45 and 12. I'm just gonna give it to you guys straight up right now. I am not impressed with this gun. I don't think it's that great. Um. It's actually pretty bad in my opinion. Like, I hate to say it, but I'm just trying to keep it real with you guys. It's not worth the hype just because they dropped a new DLC. Doesn't mean that you should go ahead and, you know, grind out for reserve crates and try to get it. 
Uh, but yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, what do you guys think down below in the comments? Have you tried the AN yet? And uh, what do you think of it? Don't forget to drop a like on this video, support the channel, and make sure to subscribe. I appreciate all the support you guys have been showing me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next gameplay. Peace. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member. And if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means, and I appreciate all the support, whether you're a member or not. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.